Question 10 says, calculate 2006, take away 289. This could be very, very simple if you use a column method and line everything up in columns. So obviously we're going to put the biggest number on top. So we've got 2006, write it nice and clear, take away 289. Now you've got to be really careful here because if you do that, that is not lined up in, co in the correct columns. Because obviously from 2006, this would be units, this would be tens, hundreds, and this would be thousands. And as you can see with the 289, this actually is 200s and we've got it in the incorrect column. So make sure, we'll start again, make sure everything goes in the correct columns. And in fact, it might be a good idea to write your column headings first. So we've got thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. So we've got 2006, and we're going to take away 289. Oh, we start with the units. So 6 take away 9, we can't do, so we need to borrow one. Now, we can't actually borrow one from the 0, so we need to go to the next column. We can't borrow from this zero either, so we actually need to borrow from the thousands column. So they've been really sneaky here because you've got to jump across two columns to borrow from the thousands. So cross out the two thousands and turn that into one thousand. And the one that you've borrowed needs to go over to the hundreds. It can't go straight over the units. It can't jump across two columns and suddenly get back to the units. We've got to do it col column by column. So the one we've borrowed from these thousands has got to go into the hundreds, and that now makes 10. Now we can borrow from the 10. So that now makes 9. And the one we borrowed from the 10 can make this into 10. Now we can borrow from this 10. So that now makes 9. And the one we borrowed from this 10 now makes this column into 16. So we've slowly, we've both started off by borrowing from the 2000, and we've taken the one across each time and we've borrowed one from each column each time until we've got a one in the units column and turned it into 16. Now we should be able to do it. 16 take away 9 is 7. 9 take away 8 is 1. 9 take away 2 is 7. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So the final answer should be 1,717. And that is what you need to put in your answer box, 1,717. A quick way of checking that would be to do an addition. Start with your answer, 1,717, and add the 289 back on. Let's see if we do actually get 2006. If we do, we know we've got it right. 7 add 9 is 16, carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus that 1 is 10, put your 0 in, carry the 1. 7 plus 2 is 9, plus that 1 is 10 again, put your 0 in, carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So as you can see, we have got back to 2006. So we know that 1717 is the correct answer. But that was a particularly sneaky one because of the zeros in the middle of the calculation.